Hey you scallywags, today we're having a look at this, the bar guest from Acid Rain World and the Abaddon Army's second legion. So we took a look at this guy the other day, who's essentially the rider you'd pair with the bike. But today it's all about the bar guest. One of the two Acid Rain bikes I've been looking forward to in 2022, a lot of twos. But is it worth your time and money? Shut up and sit down. So here is the bike, the bar guest. Let me just uh, turn this off. The bar guest CM1M. And the rider, the Abaddon Geist inside. Shall remove for now so we can have a look at the bike proper. The bar guest actually comes from uh, Northern English folklore and is a, a black dog monstrous dog with fangs and and sharp claws sometimes a ghost or elf i had to look that up look at this detail here some writing caution which is very small so you can get closer up to it to read it it's very very tiny though caution stand clear of something to avoid crushing Injury. Jeez. That sounds like it could be painful. Articulation with the wheel. The wheel moves. Just like a wheel should move. Goes round and round. And all the uh, paint apps you can see. Weathered tyre, the vent there at the top. All the usual good stuff you'll find from Acid Rain Well. This bit here moves. Uh, but it can stand by itself but that will give it more make it more secure here there's another caution symbol there writing to Oop, here you can see there's some numbers 288 or and some other stuff bendy wasn't initially a fan of the bendy handles but it works for other figures, I suppose. You could put it back in that. These move here. Let's cover that as well. Added a magnet there. Oh, if you can see here, that bit there is a bit different. I don't know why on the inside. Manga military. bit there that you can place other accessories like you'll see in the strength of ved so check out the video once i do that after this so is that caution sign again let's see if we read it the other bit caution staying clear of out triggers to avoid crushing injury i almost wish that 
was actually workable and you could do something with it or does something, but it doesn't. So here, the gun I showed in the other video has a magnet which now connects to there. So there's somewhere to store it and I put it in a place that kind of suits the overall design aesthetic. Doesn't get in the way in any way. Uh, but that's something yeah, that you, you have to do yourself, which I think they should have done themselves. These move as well, so adjustment for the feet on both sides. Oh, and these uh, bits on the side you can take off, but uh, due to the weathering paint apps on it, a bit difficult to take off. But I'll show you that more in the strength of VED as they're utilized in a different way. This moves the wheel, which is great. Tire there, weathering. And these guns at the front, you can take them off too. Yeah. So yeah, you can have it just as a civilian bike like that with no weapons whatsoever. Except for the uh, crushing thing on the sides. Yep, works well. So here's the guns. It's a shame that they didn't convert them so you can use them for your figures like on the capybara. This opportunity there. Drill barrels. And you just slot them back easily here. Because they're attached just from that the back bit of the gun. They do tend to kind of move if you you, you hold the bar, I guess, from the front. But everything stays in place. So yeah, not much of, you know, wow factor in terms of the accessories or kind of what it does, but it is brilliant looking. I really like this design. Uh, so it doesn't have the wow factor of, say, like the capybara with all the accessories and other bits that it can do and comes with. But I think it's a really, really thought out design and excellent execution. So get your fella here. If you're putting this guy inside from a normal, you know, standing pose or whatever. And you just angle his legs out like that. This is where the uh, his waist articulation and upper torso really come in handy because you can really bend him like that put his legs in very easily as you can see he sits there very comfortably his hands you just pop in there because it's rubbery it's actually quite easy to do and again would help out or for uh, maybe figures that have shorter arms well, we'll take a look at a few comparisons with other figures uh, from different lines and try them on this vehicle as well but the Abaddon Geists are definitely made to fit comfortably out of the box you won't have somewhere to store the gun so I initially just put it on there which isn't ideal so placing the magnet on it and on the bike means I can have it stored there on the side which just kind of blends into the design of the bike also Put a, a magnet on Stangmatic's weapon, which is different. It's from the Reborn Trooper, this thing in red though. So there's a little uh, tease. There's the magnet. And that can also plug in two. So we'll just take a look at him inside the bike from a few different angles. So very good for photography. You can get all sorts of angles, even from above like that. It's amazing. It fits so well. And those rubbery uh, handles do work. So next we'll just get them out and try a few different figures in the bike. So for you Joy Toy Steiner fans out there, 
great figure from earlier on in the year is Steiner. So yeah, he does fit on. Look, sits quite well. Because there's no boot twist on his uh, feet, may go out an angle a little bit. His arms are slightly shorter. But you can, because of the rubbery handled, you can bring them back. This hand, though, is a bit a bit too small. I'd have to pry it open, but you get the idea. For this one, the trigger hand should be able to just pop it in. Yeah, there you go. So it's proof that it does work. With his helmet and his look, I think he looks great on this bike. So if you were interested in this look and this bike and, the, and have got the Steiner figure, then it does go well. Let's just check him out, unhelmeted. Looks good, but safety first. It does look quite good on this. Next, we have Jack from the Cult of San Reja, who has his own bike coming out. That's supposed to be out already, but delays on that one. He just goes in there. Doesn't go in as well as I thought he would. Just got to get him back there. Mm, what you will find though is that these spike bits there will get in the way, so be careful of that. Maybe have him on it topless so the spike bits don't get in the way. This hand does come out there longer than uh, Steiner's arms. And that one in there. So yeah, besides his feet on it, he looks quite good too. Yeah, he does have a more appropriate bike coming out for him very soon. Next we've got the Phantom from Boss Fight Studio. Almost, well, basically naked figure really, just a paint job over him, so he's bit more uh, you could do a bit more articulation with him well to the limitations of boss fight studio really these hands though are not as rubbery so yeah I'm not gonna try and put them in there pop them on the handles might be a bit difficult to get off but you get the general idea if you do want to do that they are very good hands though some of the best in 118 he fits in there really nicely just looks a bit yeah, I don't know, maybe a bit odd, but it does fit. There's good articulation. His um, torso bend or whatever it is, uh, is not that great, but he still manages to sit in there quite nicely. Here is the Death Watch Mandalorian by Hasbro in the Vintage Collection. He's a bit smaller than your average 118 nowadays. He's a 3.75, so he can fit on quite nicely. His hands are very short, though. Look at that. You can maybe bend it a bit further back there. And that should work. There we go. So by stretching uh, those handles because they're quite rubbery, they do work with Death Watch Mandalorian. Maybe you could even pop on his uh, jetpack. It'll still kind of fit on, I suppose. Yeah, not so bad, even with the jetpack. Also from Acid Rain World, we've got It's Papalotl, the release I really like. The legs are a bit dodgy on this one, so it might be a bit difficult to get in there. Um, this was the same buck that they used for 
Jesse, I believe, and was the same one they used for the uh, that original sort of Akira type bike they released, limited edition one, um, and it fit on all right on that one. On this, however, is quite different as uh, it requires a sit down to ride this thing for the figure to sit down and although the hands do reach the handles very finicky kind of well there you go um, yeah it kind of leans back just a bit too much but from certain angles it looks all right Next, we'll try the Maritime Camelbot, um, who I got from uh, Fryhole Customs. Cheers for this again, Gunnar. Thanks for sending it over. We'll take off these extra bits from the back so that we can uh, sit them down. Now, these have fit in the Capybara um, bikes. Let's see if he fits in here. So good so far. His legs are small enough, I think, that they can go in nicely. Just have to hunch down a bit. And the hands, yeah, you can take the time to put the hands in. But I'll just put it like that, but as you can see, they do reach. And there essentially what he'd look like but yeah he uh, fits I suppose doesn't look too bad lastly we'll try uh, this fella Space Marine with Imperial Fists Brother Savito from Joy Toy Warhammer 40k as expected he's a bit too big so remove his uh, power pack and see if that makes a difference, which it does. But he is, uh, yeah, big boy. Looks like uh, an adult playing the child's bike. Lucky they've uh, got their own bikes coming soon. So look out for those. I'll probably grab one of them, see what they're like. So seems to work well with uh, a few other figures that aren't from the Acid Rain World line. I'll do a few other comparisons with other figures in the Stange Matic video. So look out for that and we'll get out a few other bikes. So for now, I've just got out two of the, I think, four Acid Rain bikes I own, which are pretty much the same. So this does represent what's available. This is the one that came with the Corsac Trooper set, which is basically the base buck, base bike for the last iteration of bikes from Acid Rain. Will pretty much be in the same underneath. And here's the, the Maritime one with the added guard bits at the front, which, uh, yeah, some of them have, but you can take it off as well. As you can see, this is larger than <laughs> these two um, a lot bigger makes them look kind of small compared to it it's very strange like a yeah I'd like to see him do a vehicle maybe of uh, this size um, let me try him actually on these bikes because I've not tried that before but he's got good articulation to be able to do so and fit on Yep, can get his head up like that and sounds will just easily go in. Don't know if it's just me, but the spike now seems a bit small, the wheels seem a bit smaller than I remember. Yeah look. 
perhaps it's just because uh, the bar guest's wheels are so large. But yeah, he fits on nicely on there on this too. Okay, so before my final thoughts at the end of the video, I wanted to check something. Um, this, I remembered, actually is the same plug as we get on this for the Capybara and the other bike. So I thought, let's have a, a go and put this on there because it seems to want to fit. But unfortunately, it's oriented the other way. So as you can see, plug bit there is the same as this one. It's going the uh, the other way. So you essentially, you can put it on the back, but you have to put it on backwards. So that's the way I was thinking to put it on, but put it on there instead, like that. And yeah, I suppose it kind of works. It's not the worst looking. Let's also try this one, the one with the drone. Again, it doesn't fit that way. But if we turn it around, clip it in, that actually really fits. That's like it's supposed to be on there, even though it's angled. Yeah, that really does work. So if you've got any other drones, you can uh, pop them on top. There you go, so that works too. You can uh, ca carry carry this around with him as well if he wants. Alright, well these gun arms though, I think work really well with uh, this bike. Get Geist in there. There you go, look at that. Now back to the beginning of the end. Final thoughts. So this is a bike I really like and just like with the figure the guys it's not going to be for everyone it's not your wow kind of fancy release with all these other extra bits that give it different options and guns and drones or whatever but it's a really well thought out uh, bike and design and I really, really like this. Um, I think it's a step up in terms of how it's been built. It's solid. Just looks damn cool. If you're like me and you like the design, then you were just going to buy it anyway, regardless of what other extras there were, which isn't very much and very minimal, to be honest. But for me, definitely a must buy. Strength of Ved video I will be covering too. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll... Scale you later.